Hey VC, how's it going? Right, okay, this is a Vinyl Finds video. I've just been to Gran Canaria for a week with the family. Um, we did something similar a couple of years ago. And I think at the time I made a video where we were staying in Puerto Rico and I took a bus ride about an hour, hour trip down to the capital, which is Las Palmas to Gran Canaria where there's a few places that you can buy records, you know. So of course I uh, I went and had a look. So I visited three shops and uh, yeah, they're not necessarily all record shops, but they're all places where you can buy records. So the first place that I went to was called Regreso Al Pasado. And this is predominantly a cinema shop. So it stocks Blu-rays, DVDs, film posters, just bits of memorabilia, but it does have some records towards the back of the shop. And I've taken some footage, so you know, see what you think. some interesting things so first up the incredible bongo band with bongo rock obviously an early 70s funk classic now it's clear what's attracted to me to, to this copy obviously this is a different spanish sleeve the original comes in a silver sleeve i'd never seen this before i thought it was a little bit quirky so i picked it up i had a lot of the tunes in it. i didn't actually have a copy of the album i had um, most of the tunes on comps um and a couple of 12s as well with the tracks on. But yeah, a really nice record. It's been sampled to death over the years. So the big tune on here to begin with is Apache, their version of the, the tune by The Shadows, which has been sampled by everybody. I had a look online last night, actually, when I was listening to it. And I think this tune has been sampled over 700 times. So most famously by The Sugar Hill Gang, uh, who did a version of Apache. I think Grandmaster Flash sampled it as well. I know Fatboy Slim, um, Slim did as well. So yeah, so it's been used by a lot of the big names, but a great tune, but also stuff like Bongo Rock, Bongolia, Dueling Bongos. As you can see, it's pretty Bongo heavy, but yeah, very cool, right. And something else that I picked up because I thought it was a little bit quirky. This is a compilation called Brave New Brazil on Philips. This is, uh, I say, an original copy from 68. I say it's a Brazilian pressing as well. And uh, yeah, so this really covers a lot of artists from that period who were part of the Tropicalia scene. So um, artists such as Gal Costa, um, Os Mutantes, Gilberto Gil, and yeah, a lovely comp. It's that sort of traditional Brazilian sound with lots of fuzz tone guitar thrown at it. So very cool, not an expensive thing, but not necessarily something I want to find or see about over here. So that was cool. And then just one other album, an album by Ten Benson. Uh, the album's called Hiss. Now, I do these videos with with Headley, another fat Billy man talking about records where, you know, it's our pub videos, it's like a pub chat type thing. And uh, I think in the first one of those that we did, Headley played a tune by Tim Benson called The Craw, which I think has probably had the most comments of, of any tune that we've played in those videos. It's an absolute banger. So I think this is, I think this might be their debut album from 2000. This was cheap because, well, it was actually free because this shop had a buy to, um, buy to get one free offer. So this was my free record. So that's pretty cool. But this is sort of, I say, early 2000s, sort of sludgy rock music. I saw these back in the day, actually, supporting someone at the... Uh, at the Flapper and Firkin in Birmingham. I can't for the life me remember who they're supporting, but yeah, great bands. And I played this quite a bit over last week, so very cool. Right, I then went on to a shop called 33 Revolutions, which is easily the best um, best record shop in Gran Canaria. I'd wager it's probably the best in 
in uh, the Canary Islands because it is absolutely fantastic. It's just jam packed full of records, full of used records. Now, uh, I've taken a bit of footage, so see what you think, but obviously I'm going there looking, I suppose, for Latin records, as I mentioned. Um, and going to the Latin section, there's probably five or 600 Latin records there. Now, I must admit, my knowledge is, is really limited. So, you know, I'm looking for stuff on Fania or related labels, all those sort of, that sort of group of artists that recorded for Fania. But anybody with a greater knowledge than me would, would do really well in this shop. So, yeah, so have a look at the footage. <laughs> Right, so my bargain of the day was easily this album. This is Leanne Le Havis and her debut record from 2012. Now, I think she's made three records in 14 years, so she needs to make more. She needs to be more prolific. But this is a great record, but I suppose quite of its time. But this had a really big tune on it that came out as a single called Forget. And you know when you make sort of mixtapes for the car or, or playlists for the car, whatever, this is a tune that I always put on there when I'm out with the family. So I was really pleased to find this album. I've never had it before. Um, yeah, so the reason why I say this was a bargain because it only cost me 15 euros. It's a really, really hard album to get hold of. It's probably, I don't know what it goes for. I don't know, 10 times out, I don't know. But but yeah, a real bargain. And uh, any Prince fans out there will know Leanne Le Havis because... Back in, I think, 2014, Prince announced a run of gigs in the UK, just small shows, and he did a press conference from from her living room in her flat, which is obviously a bit of a, uh, a novelty thing to get a bit of press attention, but it, it also got her a lot of attention as well, which obviously... Um, you know, gave a lot of attention to this record, but also the follow-up as well, which came, I think came out a year, a year or two later. But yeah, a really nice artist and really pleased to find that. So that's cool. And on to a few Latin records. So first up is this, and this is probably one of my favourite finds of the of the day. This is Willie Colon and Mon Rivera with There Goes the Neighbourhood. Mid-70s, I think came out in 75 on Via Records. Now this is, you know, sort of Latin funk, a little bit of salsa. Yeah, really nice stuff. I'll use this music over the footage of the shop. You've probably already seen that. But yeah, really nice. Nice copy, a bit of wear to the sleeve, but I can cope with that. Um, another real cheapie. This is Ricardo Ray and Bobby Cruz jamming live. Now, this again, I think is mid 70s, also on the Via label. That's one of the reasons why I picked it up. I didn't know much about the artists, um, but they're, they're New York, Puerto Rican. And it's a live record, and that's why I bought it. Most of my Latin stuff is studio stuff. And uh, this has got a really nice vibe to it. I've only played it a couple of times, but in the background, so I perhaps need to give it a bit more time. The only thing that's put me off listening to it is the last track is a cover, a Latin cover of Let It Be by The Beatles. And I could have really done without that because the whole album sort of sets a scene. It's got a real, I say, a lovely sort of uh, Latin vibe to it. And then the Beatles pitch up at the end, which sort of takes you out of that moment. But that aside, really nice stuff and, and cheapest chips. And just one more record from that shop. This is Grupo Arikere. 
At least that's how I think you pronounce it. So I've got a few of their albums now, and I must admit I pronounce their name different every time I, I mention one of them. So yeah, somebody will put me right. But but yeah, so this is obviously a Cuban band um, on the original Cuban label, on the Areto label. Again, I pronounce that label different every time I mention it. So don't correct me on that, but really nice stuff. So obviously it's Latin, but it's funky. It's got a real, uh, in places, almost uh, an early 70s film soundtrack sound to it. It's a little bit funky, a little bit jazzy. Very cool. I play this one quite a bit as well. And I say original Cuban copy, so that is very nice. And just finally, a bit of soul. So this is a, a compilation album. This is the moment's greatest hits on the Stang label. Now, I don't have any of the albums by the moment. So I've got quite a few of their 45s. Um, and this is just, a, I say, a nice comp that, that collects them together. What I didn't realize, and I've mentioned Sugar Hill Records earlier in this video because of the, the sample of the incredible Bongo Bands Apache. This album, all of these hits were produced by Sylvia Robinson, who's obviously the founder of Sugar Hill. She obviously had a, her own career as well, but she was the founder of that label but acts as producer in this instance as well. But a great sounding record, really bright, really loud, and it's just full of mid 70s soul ballads. So you just can't go wrong with that and, and say a lovely copy. And again, cheap as chips. Right, so the final place that I went to, no, actually, let's tell a lie. I went to a shop called No Fun Records, which is all new stuff. So if you're looking for new stuff in um, Grand Canaria, that's the place to go. Loads of cool titles, but there's no point in me sort of schlepping back with a load of new vinyl which you can buy or get hold of in the UK. So, um, And the final place that I went to was called um, Massap Antiques. It's not, a, it's not a vinyl store, not a record store. It's an antique shop. And um, it doesn't necessarily, if you're looking for a record shops in, in Grand Canary when you go online, this one doesn't necessarily come up. So it's worth making a note of if you were there. And I'll play a bit of footage of that now. You'll have seen from the footage that um, it's not a record shop. It's, it's got nowhere near as many records as the as the previous store. But it's, it's a nice little place where you might find something half decent. There's some good titles there, I must admit. I mean, I must be there for about an hour or so going through. And the reason for me, I say, going around these stores is to try and find something a little bit quirky, something a little that I, that I won't find at home in the UK. So saying that, I bought a copy of Pills, Thrills and belly aches by The Happy Mondays. Why I did that, I don't know. I think I just wanted to pick something up. Don't have a copy of this on vinyl. Really nice copy. Not a first press, as you can tell by the sleeve because of the change in, in the advertisements. But, um, but yeah. 
classic album, 1990, obviously that's the whole Manchester thing. But that aside, the shop itself was pretty good. They did have some Latin titles there. I must admit, nothing jumped out at me. If anybody's watching that knows the stuff, knows what they're talking about, if I miss something, let me know. Um, but yeah, it was cool. So all in all, you know, three nice little shops to visit. I picked up some interesting stuff, which I've been playing over the last couple of weeks. So yeah, so everything bar the Happy Mondays was, uh, was you know, a little bit quirky, a little bit different, but hey-ho, what are you gonna do? So cheers.